They think, they reflect, they ponder. So the idea is to trigger the mind and the heart, motivate the person to think, go deep. Allah also says in the Quran, وَيَطْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالَ لِلنَّاسِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ And Allah gives examples to the people that perhaps they will be reminded. See, sometimes an example and a similitude is given so that it reminds the recipient with something, something good, so he is encouraged to do it. Or something evil, so he refrains from it. And the Prophet ﷺ used the same method in his sunnah. And in this series of khutbas, the series of similitudes and examples in the sunnah, we will touch upon different narrations from the sunnah and extract certain benefits from them. And today's narration is one of the many amazing narrations in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. أخرج البخاري ومسلم في صحيحيهما من رواية عبد الله بن عمر بن عمر رضي الله عنه وعن أبي. In the books of Imams al-Bukhari and Muslim, narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab, he said. Whilst we were with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one day, he said, Akhbiruni, tell me or inform me عن شجرة about a tree مثلها كالمسلم Its resemblance is like that of a Muslim. لا يحط ورقها. It does not drop its leaves. ولا 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 أي عدد أمور أخرى. And it does not. And it does not. And he started listing other things, other benefits, other good qualities. تؤتي أكلها كل حين بإذن ربها. And it produces its fruits at all times. By the will, by the command of its Lord. Now look, we said one of the reasons, one of the justifications of using resembles, examples, resemblances and examples and similitudes is that it motivates the person to think. So Ibn Umar said, people started thinking about this and started talking to each other. But they were not talking to the Prophet ﷺ. And I saw Abu Bakr and Umar amongst the congregation and they did not utter a word. So I felt embarrassed to say anything. So I remained quiet. So when the Prophet ﷺ saw that no one told him anything, he said, it is the date tree. So Ibn Umar got up with his father and they were leaving the gathering. And he addressed his father. He said, so I said to Umar, Oh father, I swear by Allah that it came to my mind while we were sitting when the Prophet ﷺ asked that it is the date tree. He said, what prevented you from talking? Why didn't you speak out? He said, I saw that everybody's there. All the senior, all the elders are there, including his father and Abu Bakr, the most senior of the companions. And none of you spoke out. So I disliked to present my opinion. Look at the matters. He said, had you said, it would have been dearer to me than possessing such and such. And in another narration he said, I think he said, the red she camels, which is the most precious type of camels at the time of the Arabs. Why? Because he would have been proud of his son's knowledge and understanding to the words of the Prophet 
Since the Prophet said this as an example to the believer, he is telling us, Muslims and believers, to look at the good qualities of the palm tree or the date tree and make a checklist. See which of them we do have and which of them we don't have and fulfill which we don't. The scholars gave different ways of uh, similarities between the believer, the Muslim, and the palm tree or the date tree. Number one, the roots, trunk, and leaves and fruits. Every palm tree Rather, every tree must have roots and a trunk and leaves and fruits. Well, some of them are fruitless, but in the, con in the condition of the, or in the case of the uh, palm tree, it's fruitful. They said, likewise is the believer. Faith in the heart of the faithful must have roots which is resembled in the six pillars of faith belief in Allah in his messengers in his books in the angels in the day of judgment and predestiny and decree that's the roots the trunk are the good deeds, whether it is physical or verbal. And the fruits are everything good that a believing man or woman gains as a result of his deeply rooted faith represented in its trunk by the good deeds of verbs and actions or words and actions. Whether in this dunya, by leading a peaceful life. See, the real peace of mind and heart is when you believe in Allah. That can, we can take lectures talking about this particular point. But the point here is that this is one of the fruits of faith. In addition to the fruits one gains in the year after, by an eternal bliss. In the company of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Al Qaqa was sitting in a gathering one time, and people said to him, radiyallahu anhu, "Tell us something to motivate us to work for the Jannah, for for the Akhirah, for Jannah." He said, "Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be there." Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this is point number one. Point number two is the element of life. The aspect of life. The similarity between the believer and the tree, the palm tree, and the aspect or element of life. If the element of life, meaning water for the tree, is reduced from the palm tree, it dries out. And if you totally deprive it from water, it will die. Likewise is the heart of the believer. See, just like the body has a soul, the heart has a soul. And the soul of the heart for the believing man and woman is the wahi. The revelations from Allah represented in the Quran and also the Sunnah, the authentic Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is the soul. This is what keeps the heart alive. As Allah subhanahu wa taala said, referring to the Quran, one of the forms of revelations. وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ Addressing Muhammad. وَكَذَلِكَ and thus أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ We have revealed upon you رُوحًا 
a soul. This is the Quran. Allah is referring to the Quran addressing Muhammad. That we repeat, revealed upon you the soul of the heart in the form of revelation, in the form of the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal also says, يُنَزِّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ بِالْرُوحِ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ عَلَى مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِ He sends down the angels with ruh, with this revelation, with the Qur'an, with the soul of the heart, with his command upon whomever he wishes from his name. See, a person can be alive physically, but dead spiritually. Because the real life is the life of the heart with faith. Is the example of the one who is dead and we gave him life. Which is faith. And we gave him light by which he walks amongst the people, the light of faith. Is like that one who is in darkness. From where he will never come out or emerge. So the real life. The substance of life in the heart of the believer, the element of life in the heart of the believer is his faith. That's why Ibn Qayyim said, if one does not water his heart with revelations by beneficial knowledge, sitting in study circles, by reciting the Quran, Remembering Allah and mentioning Allah Azza wa Jal, uttering dhikr and reflecting and thinking about the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal, his heart will die. Why? Because his faith will fade away and weaken. As the Prophet said in the book of Ibn Hibban, of Al Hakim. May Allah have mercy on him. And Imam al Albani classed it as an authentic narration. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al As narrated that the Prophet said, Renew faith in your hearts. Work on reviving your faith in the heart. Why? He said, because it wears out, just like garments wear out. Jaddidul imana fi qulubikum. Renew faith in your hearts. How? By watering it, by giving it the element of life, by working on it through the revelations of Allah Azza wa Jalla, represented in the Quran. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيما لشانه وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الداعي إلى رضوانه صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه وبعد A third point of similarity between the day tree and a believer One of the firmest trees is the day tree. Allah Azza wa Jal described it in the Quran saying, Alam tara kayfa barada Allahu mathala 
كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء Did you not consider how Allah gave an example, a good word, the word of Tawheed? Like a good tree. Anas radiallahu anhu and Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said, this is referring to the date tree. Asluha thabit. It is deeply rooted. Its roots are firmly fixed. And its branches are high in the sky. It produces its fruits. At all times with the will and command of its Lord. So the day tree has roots that are firmly fixed. And this is how a believer's faith should be. It should be deeply rooted in his heart. That's why it's very difficult to come to a firm believer, a true believer, and uproot his faith. Regardless of the trial and the temptation he's exposed to, a believer remains steadfast and firm. We really need to reflect upon this point because in this time and era, we are going through many tribulations and trials, many fitness, many temptations. Muslims are oppressed everywhere. They're being tested everywhere. And without this firm faith, we will collapse. Without holding on strong to the rope of Allah, we will collapse. We will deviate, thinking that we can rescue ourselves in this life, but ruin our akhirah, ruin the hereafter, and become doomed in the state of Allah. We need to consider this point very, very seriously, remaining firm on the faith of Allah. I'll never forget. Back in the States, I lived a couple of years in Chicago. I went from Texas to Chicago and then went back to Texas again. And during the period I was in Chicago, the Gulf War took place. And many Muslims became scared for no reason. But they became scared and that's due to weak faith. And you saw many of them hasten to shave their beards, remove the scarf from the head of their wives. Why? Who are you trying to please? What are you trying to escape? Whatever Allah decrees will befall you, regardless of your actions. Don't lose, lose the support and help of Allah for neglecting your faith and deviating from the path. It will not help you. It will not help you. The companions set great examples for us, for steadfastness. Sumayya was chained, radiallahu anha, and then she was stabbed to death that she was the first shaheed. She was martyred for the sake of her faith. Bilal used to be taken at the hottest time of the day, at noon, in the hottest period of the year, in the summer, to the hottest spot in the desert, and be placed naked on the sand with rocks, with heavy rocks on his chest, just for him to give up his faith. But he never did. He repeated, Ahad Ahad, the oneness of Allah. Al Khabbab ibn al Arad, radiallahu anhu, they removed his shirt, they hid it. 
became iron rods until they became red. They laid him down, they laid him down on the floor and laid him on it, naked. The only thing touching the rods was his skin on his back. And the only thing that put that out was the fat melting from his back. But none of that affected their firmness on their feet. None of that affected their steadfastness. And this is what we need, brothers and sisters. This is what we need. We need to hold on firm, strong to our faith. So it will be like that palm tree that's deeply rooted and proudly upright and firm and strong. Inshallah, in the following khutbas, we will continue with more points, points of resemblance between a Muslim and a palm tree. We ask Allah Azza wa to make us amongst those who hear and listen and apply and implement and act upon what they learn. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma fi'luna dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina. Wa thabit aqdamana wa tsubna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. Allahumma fi'luna dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina. Wa thabit aqdamana wa tsubna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. Allahumma thabit ikhwanana al-mujahideen fi kulli makam. Allahumma thabit ikhwanana al-mujahideen fi kulli makam. Allahumma ansubu. اللهم أيدهم اللهم اجمع على الحق كلمتهم اللهم ثبت أقدامهم وسدد رميهم اللهم عليك بأعدائهم اللهم عليك بأعدائك وأعدائهم اللهم اقتلهم بددا وأحصهم عددا ولا تغادر منهم أحدا اللهم لا ترفع لهم راية ولا تحقق لهم غاية واجعلهم لمن خلفهم عبرة وآية اللهم أرنا فيهم يوما أسودا أسود من يوم عاد وإرم وثمود اللهم إنهم خلق من خلقك لا يعجزونك اللهم أرنا فيهم عجائب قدرتك اللهم أرنا فيهم عجائب عظمتك اللهم أرنا فيهم عجائب قوتك اللهم أهلكهم اللهم أبدهم اللهم أخصهم اللهم أنصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك قريب مجيب الدعوات وآخر دعوانا الحمد